Long before humanity learned to name its enemies, the smallest killers on Earth were already shaping the story of life. Parasites and diseases have haunted the planet since the beginning, evolving in silence, unseen, and relentless. Long before war, famine, or extinction events, it was infection that ruled nature's kingdom, driving evolution forward with cruel efficiency. Every creature that walked, swam, or flew carried invisible passengers that would outlive dynasties and rewrite biology itself. The story begins in the primeval oceans, billions of years before humans existed. Here, among drifting plankton and simple microbes, the first parasites emerged. They had no eyes, no mouths, no bones, yet they learned the oldest trick of survival, living off another. Within this microscopic battlefield, life split into two paths, the hunter and the host. Even ancient algae bore traces of infection, their cells scarred by viruses that invaded and multiplied, turning the living into factories of death. Over time, parasitism became one of evolution's most successful strategies, spreading through every habitat on Earth. As multicellular life appeared, the war intensified. Worm-like creatures invaded soft-bodied hosts, piercing tissue, feeding unseen. Fossilized fish from the Devonian era still show signs of infestation, their bones pitted and twisted by parasites that gnawed within. Amber from the Carboniferous Age holds mosquitoes and ticks, frozen mid-feast, their bellies swollen with blood older than dinosaurs. Even in these distant ages, disease was not random chaos, it was a force of selection. The strong survived infection, the weak perished, and evolution itself adapted to the rhythm of plague. When the great reptiles ruled the earth, they too were not spared. In the time of the dinosaurs, the world teemed with unseen killers. Fossilized droppings reveal eggs of intestinal worms that once thrived inside the stomachs of giants. Ancient ticks preserved in amber have been found clutching dinosaur feathers, evidence that parasites followed their hosts wherever evolution led them. Just as predators hunted on land and sea, microscopic hunters stalked through blood and bone. The world was an ecosystem of hunger, both visible and invisible. As the age of reptiles ended and mammals began to rise, the struggle only grew more intimate. Warm blood offered a new paradise for parasites. Fleas, lice, and mosquitoes evolved alongside their hosts, drawn by heat and scent. The first mammals scratched and suffered, just as humans do now. Some scientists believe that early mammalian grooming behaviors, like licking fur or dust bathing, were survival responses born out of the war against parasites. It was not vanity, but instinct, an eternal effort to keep death at bay. When humans appeared, we entered that ancient cycle already cursed and prepared. Our ancestors carried parasites inherited from the apes that came before them. Worms coiled in their intestines, lice hid in their hair, and protozoa waited in their blood. Yet for all the suffering, these infections shaped who we became. Studies of ancient bones reveal signs of anemia, bone lesions, and disfigurement caused by chronic disease. The early hunter-gatherers lived with infection as a daily companion. Every scratch, every bite, every drop of bad water could harbor invisible life waiting to consume them. With the rise of civilization, humanity's battle with disease took a new turn. Settlements brought safety from predators but invited a more persistent enemy. Where people gathered, parasites multiplied. Standing water became breeding grounds for mosquitoes that carried malaria. Rats and fleas thrived in the waste of early cities, spreading bacteria that would one day cause pandemics. Even in the oldest mummies of Egypt, scientists have found traces of malaria parasites preserved in blood. These discoveries prove that long before the first written words, disease had already become a chronic presence in human destiny. In Mesopotamia, healers inscribed prayers against invisible evils that caused fever and wasting. They did not yet understand infection, but they recognized its power. Clay tablets describe spirits entering the body through breath or food, a poetic reflection of microbial truth. Across the world in ancient China, physicians studied patterns of plague and illness, noting how swamps and still air bred sickness. In these records, we see humanity's first attempts to comprehend the hidden world of parasites, though the true culprits would remain invisible for millennia. In the classical age, as trade and empire expanded, disease traveled faster than armies. The Roman Empire was bound together by roads and ships, and through those same paths, contagion moved. Fleas carrying the plague bacteria nestled in the grain sacks of merchants. Mosquitoes followed travelers along river routes. Worms and dysentery spread through armies on campaign. 
The ruins of ancient latrines and burial pits hold traces of these unseen passengers. Even in marble cities, humanity was never free from the microscopic conquerors that followed wherever civilization went. Some infections left marks that archaeology can still read. In the buried bones of Roman soldiers, lesions from tuberculosis hollowed the ribs. In Egyptian mummies, traces of schistosomiasis reveal waterborne worms that still plague millions today. Ancient Chinese skeletons bear evidence of leprosy, and Andean mummies show signs of smallpox and parasitic infections long before European contact. These are not just the scars of individuals, but records of how life itself has always been entangled with disease. Every fossilized lesion and preserved egg tells the same story. To live is to host. As humanity advanced, we unknowingly became better at spreading disease. Agriculture provided abundant food, but also perfect habitats for pests. Domesticated animals became bridges for infection, passing parasites between species. Cattle brought tapeworms. Pigs carried trichinella. Birds shared influenza. The closer humans drew to their animals, the deeper the exchange became. In the microscopic world, boundaries blurred and parasites evolved to adapt to new hosts. Humanity was building civilization on the same foundation that would one day feed its greatest plagues. The ancient world witnessed epidemics that changed history. In the 5th century before Christ, the plague of Athens struck without mercy, leaving tens of thousands dead and a city broken. In the 2nd century, the Antonine Plague swept through the Roman Empire, believed to be an early form of smallpox. These outbreaks did more than kill. They rewrote politics, economy, and faith. When disease struck, empires weakened, gods were questioned, and societies transformed. Behind every collapse in history, there is often an invisible war waged within the bloodstream of the people. Even parasites too small to fossilize left their mark on the genetic code of survivors. Some human populations carry mutations that resist malaria, while others evolved immune responses shaped by generations of exposure to worms and pathogens. These microscopic battles carved their legacy into our DNA, guiding the evolution of the human immune system. The story of disease is also the story of resilience. Every plague that failed to wipe us out made our descendants stronger, even as new ones evolved to take their place. Archaeological discoveries continue to reveal how ancient diseases cross time. In Siberia, scientists have uncovered Ice Age remains with traces of anthrax spores still dormant in frozen soil. In the Andean highlands, mummies preserve evidence of parasites so intact that their genetic material can be sequenced. In Egyptian tombs, tiny calcified worm eggs have survived 3,000 years inside organs turned to dust. Each discovery adds a new chapter to the hidden history of infection, a reminder that disease never truly disappears, it waits. Parasites are masters of endurance. Some worms release eggs that can survive centuries in dry soil. Bacteria can hide in animal reservoirs for millennia, emerging when conditions return. Even viruses, though not truly alive, can linger within frozen carcasses or the veins of long-dead hosts, waiting for a thaw. In the language of deep time, disease is a constant presence, an immortal rival that never sleeps. As modern science grows more advanced, it allows us to resurrect the microscopic past. Under electron microscopes, scientists have found fossilized red blood cells containing malaria parasites. Genetic sequencing of ancient remains has reconstructed entire pathogen genomes, identifying the exact bacteria behind historical pandemics. The Black Death of medieval Europe, the smallpox that ravaged the Americas, and the tuberculosis that plagued ancient farmers, all can now be traced through the molecular echoes left in bone and mummified tissue. These discoveries have changed how we understand evolution. Parasites were not merely destroyers, they were catalysts. They forced species to adapt, mutate, and innovate. Without infection, immunity would never have evolved. Without plague, migration and isolation would not have shaped our diversity. In the grand story of life, parasites are not the villains. They are the editors of survival, constantly rewriting the rules of existence. Yet their legacy is one of both terror and balance. For every life they take, they push countless others toward adaptation. For every extinction they cause, they open a new path for something else to thrive. The prehistoric world was shaped as much by invisible microbes as by towering predators. Disease sculpted the food chains, decided which species dominated, and set the boundaries of evolution. The fossils of dinosaurs and mammoths may fill museums,
but the true architects of life's struggle are the ones too small to see. Even today, remnants of those ancient plagues remain with us. Tapeworms that plagued early hunters still infect modern humans. Malaria continues to kill, carried by the same kind of mosquito that once fed on our ancestors. Tuberculosis, leprosy, and influenza have traveled alongside humanity since its first migrations. We live in a world built by survivors, shaped by countless generations who endured the same microscopic wars. To look into the fossil record is to realize how fragile and interconnected life truly is. From the first parasitic worms in the ocean to the pandemics that reshaped civilizations, disease has been the shadow companion of evolution. It reminds us that power is never absolute, that even the mightiest creature is vulnerable to something unseen. The true history of life is not written in bones alone, but in the traces of infection that whisper from the depths of time. And so the hidden horrors of the ancient world were not monsters of tooth and claw, but of cell and spore. They lived within their hosts, invisible architects of extinction and adaptation alike. They outlasted empires, survived ice ages, and continued their quiet conquest across every era. When we study them, we are not just looking back at disease, we are looking into a mirror of our own existence. Because in the end, we are both host and heir to the same invisible legacy that began long before the first heartbeat echoed through the sea.